Dogecoin came down and hit my target, my second target at dot one four five. We also hit the first target at dot one five one, but we came down and hit my second target today at dot one four five, the Fibonacci retracement level, the fifty percent level. Here's how I got that right there. We had this uptrend going like this. This is that smaller uptrend. We had the uptrend go. I started to think that we were going to get some resist, or it looked like we were getting resistance right here. I was watching this uptrend like this, and there was another one in even the smaller time frame. I've been watching even the five minute time frame. I was on the five, I was on the hour time frame just now. Now I'm on the five minute time frame. I was also watching this trend right here. When we broke this one going to the downside because I knew that we couldn't keep going forever. We had a nice big run from that bottom and I was thinking, I, I was kind of looking for a retracement, a little cool off. So we hit this top, we started to trend down a little bit. I was watching this trend. We broke that one going to the downside. Uh, when we broke going to the down, I was like, okay, we'll give it a chance in this little channel pattern here. We broke that going to the downside right there. This was where I started to take profits and then I've been trying to re or dollar cost average back in. So these are levels that we can use to want to do that. We have the bottom of the trend and we have the top of the trend. We get the Fibonacci retracement tool. We drag from the bottom to the top. Then that splits up this chart. So this is pretty much 50% of that. This is 38%, 23% from the top. Uh, so like, yeah, I mean, it's not, you wouldn't get 23% going down that much. It's just like, that's 50% of that whole chart. Uh, yeah, so hopefully that makes sense. But that is what the levels that I like to watch when we're kind of getting a little dip and it, we're getting a little dip right now. So let's see what happens after this. We hit my next level out at one four five i think if we keep trending down it looks like we're getting we're getting a little bit of support and we'll jump into that in a second but if we keep going down the next spot that i'll be looking at again is that fibonacci another fibonacci retracement level and this one is sitting at let's see this one's sitting at around dot one three nine approximately let's see what happens when you take off that nine at the end something like that yeah that's perfect dot one three nine uh, so yeah, if we keep going down, that'd be the next level. I actually do have a limit order there, but it's a smaller one. I'm not super confident on this one, but let's see what happens. Um, we're still trending down. We are getting a little bit of support here. Let's go ahead and zoom in on this. Let's actually go to the, the Coinbase chart because I'm on the Binance chart. I was using the Binance chart as the smaller Fibonacci retracement chart. And then on this chart, this is the bigger Fibonacci retracement chart. This is the yellow lines are pretty much my positions. Let me go ahead and take those off real quick. Uh, okay, so yeah, we need to hit. We need to break that 17 cents for us to go to 2.202. But the other thing I was going to say is this. I've been using the Coinbase chart for this bigger Fibonacci retracement because this is that. This is the big, huge bottom to the top and same thing get that fibonacci retracement tool drag from the bottom to the top that gives you levels to watch <clears throat> that get, that kind of breaks up the the that run right there sometimes it'll go to 50 percent and then start running again sometimes it'll dip lower start running again it just a good place to dollar cost average also the price likes to kind of bounce within these these little areas sometimes you'll get support on them sometimes you'll get resistance on them and you can use them to buy and sell um so yeah let's go ahead and go to the five minute time frame uh let's see what we got okay so yeah i just wanted to show you the smaller stuff that we've been looking at in the past couple days we had a little channel pattern that we've been looking at i actually kind of got tricked up here and i thought it was going <coughs> it was going to go to the upside I did a small little position right here, wanted to close a little bit of dollar cost average, like I said, on the way down. So I closed that short, like not a, I mean, I closed some of it, should I say, dollar cost average, like I said. And then it didn't go up, and then we went down, which is good because we hit this dot one four five level. But we came down, and we didn't quite hit this level right away. Let's go ahead and bring those positions back up, because then you can see the where it was at. Okay. So that's where that position got filled. Okay, so we had, we came down. We didn't quite hit that. I was kind of concerned because I thought we were going to go straight back up because this is a nice little run. 
And then, nope, got resistance right here, came down, got support, support. Looks like we're getting a trend line right there. And we also got support right there and support right there. So we have a little trend line. We broke that going to the downside. Ever since then, we've been getting resistance, resistance, resistance. Going to the downside, we had a nice little downtrend right there. It looks like we broke that downtrend going sideways. It still looks like we're kind of going down, but like we did kind of find some support is my point. We do have support, 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 support. This is what I said in the other video, and it kind of like went up and then it went down. So I'm not sure. Hopefully, I mean, it's possible that this could be the beginning of... Uh, like turning around I guess my point is we had this downtrend and we're kind of breaking it going sideways let's see like I was saying like I usually or like I've been kind of doing lately is let's get the top of it something like that I guess you could say and then let's get the bottom of it mm, maybe something like that I don't know we'll have to see how this plays out this might not be perfect but what I'm thinking is if we break this bottom support right here going to the downside, then we can get we, then we can be more confident on something like dot one three nine. Hopefully we can get a bounce on that Fibonacci. Or if we break this going to the upside, then maybe we could come back up and retest this resistance, 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 resistance that we've formed in the meantime. And this is sitting at around dot one four nine eight seven approximately. Um, so yeah, we first steps first things first though we have resistance right here and resistance right here We have a trend line going like this. I think we'd have to come up and break through that I think if we break through that though, we could target from the top to the bottom of this because there is a couple of resistance points in there and then drag that to the breakout and we'd be looking at a target of approximately dot one four six eight eight just for starters, but that would be a That'd be where we would start at is breaking this little resistance area right here that's giving me this trend line in this area so um yeah that's basically what i'm looking at pretty cool we hit the target the second target let's see if it actually does anything or if it kind of does i mean we kind of bounced in like for the last because this was the 38 percent level right here and this one is a 50 percent level um we kind of bounced in this like we got a bounce below that area because this is the 38 percent level right here we went lower and we kind of got some support in that area <clears throat> excuse me but we ultimately broke to the downside and continued to hit that second target let's see if we continue down to this next one sitting at dot 139 or if we can get a if we if this area right here can hold support sitting at dot 142 if that bottom at of one four dot 142 can hold support then maybe we can um start getting i mean i don't know let's see uh and then if we do i think we have to break this level right here sorry dot one four four five one if we could break that one then we can start getting more bullish and start looking at dot one four six nine two for starters and then ultimately maybe dot one four nine i think this dot one four nine nine i think this area might give us some trouble something like that if we break through that then we can start getting more bullish we could drag from the top to the bottom of this let's see just hypothetically somewhere around there there's a lot of like price action in here let's say i would say something like that um it almost looks like a f like a cup and handle i've been seeing that like kind of pattern a lot lately um yeah so i mean maybe something like that and this target is sitting at around dot one five five two eight this big channel pattern right there if we break that going to the upside Oh, some of the things that I'm looking at, let's see what happens. I think first things first is let's hold support on here. Let's break this resistance line right here at uh, 14452. All right. If you want to check out the last video and see kind of the stuff that I was looking at and keep up and follow along, I think uh, if you're trying to learn, then watching some of the past videos might help you. And just to kind of see uh, how I do things. And if you want to do that, click right here. If you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.